Good morning to everybody. I'm Ilaria Buia, PhD in Nanotechnology at the University of Salento. Today I want to speak about a Labanship platform for field analysis of Gravewine leaf roll associated virus 3. The theme of research is in synergy with the national strategy of smart specializations approved by European Commission in the areas of smart and sustainable industry, energy, environment, health, nutrition and quality of life. The project proposal is realized in cooperation with Professor Andrea Luvisi of the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences and Technologies and Omnix Group of Professor Giuseppe Maruccio at the University of Salento. Nowadays, human activities significantly contribute to worldwide spreading of phytopathological adversities, especially if we consider the globalization of trade or tourism mass. In particular, pathogen-related fulluses are today responsible for a reduction in quantity and quality of yield with serious economic and environmental repercussions due to the absence of therapeutic technique. As a result, there is the need of rapid in-field and low-cost detection methods, especially for emerging diseases or pathogens that spread thanks to asymptomatic individuals with subtle initial symptoms, but are then difficult to face. Here we present a lab on chip platform coupled with microfluidic model based on electrochemical transaction method able to recognize serial dilutions of gravel one leaf roll associated virus 3. Log represents smart and versatile devices thanks to their miniaturization. They require small sample volumes allowing a rapid detection of the targets. Grape wine leaf roll disease is one of the most important viral diseases affecting grape wines, and grape wine leaf roll associated virus 3 is considered the most important etiological agent. It belongs to the Clostroviride family and is widely distributed all over the world through the propagation of infecting plant material and insect vectors. Symptoms can vary with the season, cultivar, and climatic condition, with some varieties that can be completely symptomless. Due to its distribution, can cause significant yield loss with an estimated economic impact from $25,000 to $40,000 per hectare for vineyards with a 25-year lifespan in the absence of any control measure. Unfortunately, there aren't any cures for this pathogen, but only preventive action as the use of clean stock and certification program, as well as the use of certified material derived from virus tested stocks for new vineyards. As reported in my recent publication, innovative tools are suitable for free use and portable systems, such as the lab on chip, can make the difference in preventive action. Traditionally, this pathogen is detected through serological methods as the LISA test, but unfortunately, this technique requires time, cost, and qualified person. Instead, a lock can communicate with the PC thanks to the aid of a PCB platform in which is inserted. The lock system used for the detection includes a PDMS microfluidic model made by four microchambers and a central inlet hole used to perform functionalization step and insert the sample to be measured. In fact, interdigitated electrodes undergo functionalization process, which allows to specifically bind the virus to a self-assembly monolayer that recognizes its antibody, the same employed for ELISA test. Finally, the platform communicates the eventual biorecognition to the potentiostat, applying a sinusoidal voltage of 10 mV in presence of a redox-coupled solution. The results can be detected immediately on the PC. Our results suggest that LOC can detect serial dilution of the virus from 1 to 10, 1 to 50, and 1 to 100. This is the lowest value achievable by the platform. An electron transfer resistance of 40 kilo is detected only in the presence of the antibody, with the impedance values shifted toward the antibody signal for healthy samples. In parallel, we carried out analysis with ELISA tests that show it the detection of the virus only till a dilution of 1 to 5, confirming the lock device can be much more sensitive compared to the traditional technique. Although serological techniques are commonly used for the detection of the virus, with a certain number of companies providing high-quality ELISA tests, molecular methods are also used, providing high sensitivity 
and new detection methods as the use of hyperspectral imaging are now emerging as a promising tool for disease diagnosis. Among them, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is used for the first time for the detection of this pathogen, revealing its potential in terms of portability and ease of use. In conclusions, we want to say that lock devices show higher sensitivity compared to LISA tests. This device can be competitive with conventional diagnostic methods for cost and portability, making the difference in real-time detection of the pathogens. Due to its ease of use, sensibility and specificity, it is possible to extend its application for the detection of dialer viruses. Thanks for your attention.